Hi, I'm Lisa Eubanks, Director of the Cherokee Regional Library System. I'm happy to announce that our libraries have reopened this week and have started back some gradual services open to the public. We'll now be open three days a week in each of our branches in Rossville, Chickamauga, Lafayette, and in Dade County. Our hours of operation will be from 10 in the morning until 6 at night. The first hour of the morning from 10 until 11 will be open to our most vulnerable patrons. In Lafette, we're open on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And in uh, Rossville, here at this branch, we're open on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And in Chickamauga and in Dade County, you can come visit us on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're trying to stagger our hours to give our public an opportunity to come in and see us. When you come in, you will see that we have some restrictions in place for your safety and for our staff safety. You'll notice that we have distancing um, on the floor to stay six feet apart. We've installed sneeze guards at our circulation desk, so we have a layer of protection between you and our staff. Our staff are required to wear masks when interacting with the public, and we strongly encourage you to wear a mask. If you don't have one and you'd like one, we do have some available for you to, to take home with you. We'd like to also let you know that you are able to come in and, and operate and use some of our basic services. You can check books out. You can return books that you have at home. We do have some of our computers available for you to use. We have moved them and distanced them six feet away from each other, and we're sanitizing our keyboards in between each use. So please come in, get on the internet, take care of any business or anything that you need on our computers. We are available for that. We have limited our programming and we're not doing anything in our buildings at this time. We've still got our virtual programming going on online and I hope you've been enjoying that and taking advantage of that on our Facebook page. We'd also like to um, encourage you to stay tuned for more information about our summer reading programming that we're going to be doing this summer. It will look a little different, but we are working on getting that programming set and in place, and we'll have plenty for you and your families to do to encourage your children to read this summer. Um, we are going to be um, in, make, having a special announcement here, and so I would like for you to um, give your attention now to Shannon Whitfield and uh, I'm going to ask him to come up and speak to you for a little bit now. Hello, good morning. Uh, Shannon Whitfield, Walker County Commissioner. Of, I appreciate all of y'all tuning in for this Facebook Live. It's exciting to be here today in Rossville for uh, this great day of getting our libraries back open and trying to get our communities uh, moving forward again. So this is a phenomenal facility. Uh, we worked together back in 2016, 2017, and was able to completely renovate uh, this location. And so it's a beautiful facility, complete renovation. Got a lot of neat things here, a lot of uh, technology as well. So if you've not been into the Rossville location, we would encourage you to stop by and check this out. Also, the Lafette location and Chickamauga location was renovated uh, just a few years back as well. So all of our libraries are all modern. They all have fiber connection and they're just great facilities and they're a big part of our community. One of the things that I wanted to be here this morning for to let you know about is we are going to be able to increase the hours of operation due to additional county funding. Uh, one of my commitments back in 2016 was to increase the funding of our library systems. We've been able to do that every single year. Now that we have the county on solid financial footing, we want to go ahead and take this to the next level where we have all three of our library locations open 40 hours a week. Up to this point, our Chickamauga and Lafette location has only been open 31 hours a week, so this will get us to 40 hours a week. And so this will take place starting in July, so we will be providing the additional funding that is needed for our library systems to be able to open a full schedule 40 hours a week to get everything kicked back off going forward. So very happy and excited to announce that here today of this additional funding. Uh, our county revenues have been, have been strong and we have more people shopping at home in Walker County than ever before. So our revenue streams have been good thus far, even with the COVID-19. So appreciate all of you uh, here in Walker County that have focused and continue to spend your money at home. And that allows us to be able to do these things of reinvesting back into our community and one of the best places that we can do that 
is here in our library system. So we're so thrilled to be able to come to you live here today and make this announcement on the day that the library systems are kicking back off and get, getting opened back up to the public. And so it is going to be a limited schedule. They have uh, posted this information on their Facebook and website as well. So check out that uh, information. We have some of our board members here today that's going to come talk to you and give you a little bit more information about that. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Rob Looney, and he's on the uh, Cherokee Regional Board. So Rob, come up and give us a little more information about the libraries. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. As he said, my name is Rob Looney, and I'm with the Chickamauga Public Library Board. And I'm excited about this development of moving to 40 hours in Chickamauga because this means we get to open up one more day. We're now going to be able to open on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so five days a week. Hopefully, starting on July 1st, we'll have the ability to do that. What this means for our community is the ability for more families to access the knowledge, the resources we have in the library, and hopefully to get children more engaged in reading and pursuing what hopefully becomes a lifelong pursuit of reading and learning that will help them as they move forward and allowing adults to continue to develop new skills, new knowledge that they need as they continue to move forward in the workforce. Again, I'd like to thank Commissioner Whitfield and the Walker County government for helping stepping up to get us to this 40 hours a week. Um, also here with us is Ms. Stephanie Wardlaw with the Cherokee Regional Board and the Lafette Library Board to share how this will impact the Lafette Library. Stephanie? Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here today and get to share how this wonderful news impacts our Lafette local library um, as well as the additional libraries throughout Walker County. We are excited that we are going to be able to be open um, even though it's a soft opening right now we're open in Lafette Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. We look forward to the opportunity hopefully July 1st to be open full 40 hours. I've always been passionate about literacy and the libraries are wonderful to, for that. Um, but they're great for so many other things and bringing our community together. And in Lafette, we have special programs, summer reading, classes for adults, and our um, big thing is our Shaw um, genealogy room with history. And we're actually going to have that open now 40 hours, um, and we're going to have it staffed with an individual who actually has a degree in history, and she'll be there for the entire time, allowing our patrons and the community to come in and access not only the library but the Shaw History Room and, and to learn more about your own genealogy and history. So it's a wonderful time. If you're not a patron already, we would encourage you to consider becoming one. Um, and the community is always welcome. We're just excited to be opening up again. As you can see, it's a big week for us here in the Cherokee Regional Library System. So please come and see us this week using our limited schedule. And for those of you who really are not comfortable coming into the facilities right now, we are going to have available curbside services. You'll just need to call your local library branch. <clears throat> they'll answer the phone and they'll make arrangements to get your books delivered to you curbside. So please don't forget about that. But rest assured, we're doing everything we can to keep you safe and our staff safe during this time. We will. We will reevaluate our services in a couple of weeks and see if we need to adjust them some or to tweak them a little bit. So stay tuned and just check all of our social media posts for that. So we thank you and please come see us this week. Hello, I'm Lisa Eubanks, Director of the Cherokee Regional Library System, and I'm happy to announce that we're going to be opening our libraries back up to the public. We will be opening with a limited schedule for these first two weeks. I'd like to share with you some restrictions and some protections that we've put in place in all of our library branches for you during these next two weeks. We are opening two to three days each week in our libraries during this first phase. Our hours are from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. with the 10 to 11 hour reserved for our patrons who are most at risk. Regular programs are still on hold until further notice. We will notify the public as soon as normal operations return. So please like us on Facebook and check our website to stay informed. All library staff are required to wear a protective mask. Our patrons are strongly encouraged to as well. This can be a homemade mask, scarf, or bandana for our patrons 10 years and older. All staff will be checked for a temperature at the beginning of each workday before they are allowed to clock in. During this phase, our libraries will have only one entrance into the library and one designated exit. 
The circulation desks are equipped with sneeze guards for your protection and ours. Lines on the floor clearly mark the six foot distance between persons waiting in line at the desk. All return books will sit for 24 hours before reshelving. Our book stacks are marked with one-way arrows coming and going, so there will be no need to pass someone in an aisle. Our furniture has been repositioned to abide by the six-foot rule. We ask that patrons do their best to respect the six-foot rule at all times, giving everyone their personal space. All services will be wiped down and disinfected every hour. A limited number of computers are currently set up for operation. All keyboards and mice will be checked out at the circulation desk and returned at the end of use so that staff can disinfect them. There is a six-foot separation between computer stations, and computer time will be limited as a result of these restrictions. All toys, games, iPads, and play structures have been removed from the children's play area. Curbside service is available for our vulnerable patrons. Please call your local library branch for more information on this service. Please come visit us and do your best to follow these restrictions put in place for your protection and ours. As you can see, we're ready for you. We're looking forward to seeing you, so come visit us at your nearest local public library.